sir. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Mm. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Raditz Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Raditz Hosker. The one you know as Raditz Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of, bitter? Would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway, <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, You'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an Alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. Svartalfheim remains at your disposal if you have unresolved business amongst the dwarves. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes, and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? A magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. <sighs> what else is there? I have a question. Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young master Atreus. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neithog. Neithog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neithog chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neithog is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... familiar. <sighs> Please come back any time. Already here, Master Kratos. Perhaps there was some confusion. This is for calling me out here, not for when I am here. Do you just like hearing the sound of the chimes? I suppose they do sound very pretty. Master Kratos, this feels very uncharacteristic of you, but if you enjoy the pretty chimes that much, I will allow you to indulge. Yes, you've done it. Well thrown. Ah, the sound of the chimes is not unpainful at this distance, so perhaps you could not? Already here, as it were. So... I see you're deliberately attempting to push me into some sort of emotional outburst, aren't you? 
Well, I'm not so easily swayed, my good man. Stop with the stupid chime! Oh, oh dear. I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. So, this whole spectral squirrel business, you can shoot out your feelings into little ghosties. I suppose that is a slightly inelegant way of putting it. These spectral versions of myself are aspects of my personality that I often find distracting at best. My ability not only lets me cast them away and provide some temporary peace of mind, it also allows me to see what goes on outside the tree. Why not just go look yourself? As the eternal caretaker of the tree, I may not leave its confines, all part of the deal, but worth it for the immortality and such. My spectral forms still allow me to see the outside world, albeit through slightly colorful viewpoints. That's one word for it. That bitter form of yours is a nasty piece of work. I'm standing right here, you know, Nick Freak. <sighs> I'd apologize for him, but where would it end? One-eyed nut sucker, he owes me one. Fight me now and eternally. Whoa. <laughs> Hello. Good to see the chimes working as intended. So, who else are we likely to encounter amongst your detachable emotional apparitions? Well, there's certainly no avoiding anxiety. Oh no. Why are you talking about me? What did I do? Oh, you should have heard the shit they were talking. What? Oh dear, oh dear. There was no such talk. Shame on you, Bitter. Are you sure? Yes, Anxious. No opprobrium to be found in this discourse. I was merely making your acquaintance with our adventuring friends here. Ah! People! Well, there it is. <laughs> the boss is right there sweating bricks on Main Street, and y'all gonna go hit his chime right now? Dick, move, move. He's coming. What do you need to talk to him for, anyway? Squirrel. Ah, Master Kratos, my apologies. Madam Nethog's disappearance weighs heavily on my mind. She a friend of yours? Less a friend than another long-time tenant of the tree. She was here even before I arrived, and that was ages ago. To even think something could keep her away from her babies. Terrible, just terrible. Oh dear, oh dear, what's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Nethog has been slain. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. Well then, what else, friends? About Nithog. You should know. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged All-Father's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. Not all gods showed the interest that you do in writing past wrongs. Now please, take the capture device and see if you can find our missing leaned worms. Until we no. move <sighs> Well, any questions before you travel on? Look who made progress finding lean words. <laughs> oh, go on now, ring the chime, show the boss what you got. Hello, friends. What shall we talk about? So were you always a freakishly large immortal squirrel, or...? <laughs> Don't forget handsome. No, I was once a regular squirrel. The same size as these wispy, spectral versions of myself, in fact. I was unremarkable. 
I stumble upon the tree near what should have been the end of my life, the victim of a random act of predatory savagery. But the tree, it had other plans for an insignificant creature like me. But I have prattled on for far too long. I will leave you be, Master Kratos. Please come back Here's anytime. what I found. This one has a strong personality. Good thing I've got experience with those. Oi! What lean worms have you found for me lately? Uh, oh, oh, that's right. <laughs> None! <laughs> oh, hi. You're looking for the boss man here. So sorry. He's off cleaning up all the damage Garm did. Yeah, try back soon, yeah? <laughs> Jerk. Don't you forget about the rest of those lean worms. Don't. You. Do it. You arrived! Just in time as well. The Hound of Hell is no longer a threat. Indeed. You have proven worthy of great responsibility, Master Kratos. Please forgive me if I've been abrupt or at all impertinent of late. The loss of Madame Neathog weighed heavily upon me, even before the grave uncertainties of this Garm episode. I do sincerely apologize for my rude demeanor during this time. I did not notice. You are being polite, of course. My demeanor was impudent, borderline cruel. Surely this was a source of some discomfort for you. No. My conversational wounds run deep then, and you would hide the scars. I swear, Master Kratos, I will make it up to you someday. Well, good luck out there. Oh, good, you're here. Not a moment too soon. Batatoskar, I'm curious. You said the tree had plans for you. What exactly has it got you doing? What do I not do, my decapitated delight? I overlook and maintain the stability of the realms, ensure that everything is running smoothly. And, of course, I tend to the world tree. I listen to it, make sure its needs are met. Do you talk to the tree? The tree does not speak in any tongue, but its intentions are clearly felt. Yes, I do realize how, for lack of a better word, kooky that sounds, but it is true. Is it saying anything right now? It's saying stop asking stupid questions! Bitterness, manners! But, yes, it is saying something along those lines. You! Come with the child! Things to do. No more lead one. What, did you forget they're out eating the realm? Hello, I have a task for you, actually. Speak. The tree has become rather overgrown. And? And, if it grows too wildly, the branches risk getting too heavy and falling, which is not ideal, considering they hold all the realms. I am no gardener. What an absolute shock. No, I do not require any horticultural skills from you, but I would ask that you keep an eye open for the stags of the Four Seasons. They normally graze upon the tree and keep it tidy. Unfortunately, Bitter decided it would be funny to trick Arrogant into releasing them. If you happen to find the stags during your travels, I would greatly appreciate assistance in bringing them home. I would have one of my spectral squirrels do it, but they, well, keep eating the feed I give them. Consequence of it being the most delicious food in all the Nine Realms, I suppose. Speaking of, here, take some feed. Once you've found a stag, the feed should calm them down. Then one of my spectrals will guide them back here. And, uh, don't eat the feed, please. I will not. Bitterness asked me if I was too chicken to release them. But I am, in fact, not chicken-like whatsoever. So as you can see, I had no choice. Yes, of course. What else could you have done? While normally this would be a harmless prank, Fimblewinter prevented the stags from returning, and now they have long since scattered to parts unknown. It was worth it. Now then, any luck finding those lean worms? There is one thing I'd like to know. Obviously the time has come to talk about me. It most certainly has not. What? Why not? How dare you belittle my accomplishments! I apologize for arrogance. His volume has only increased over the years. And why shouldn't it? I single-handedly take care of the ding-dang world tree! 
Without your boy here, the realms would rot off the branches before you can say ingratitude. He does have a point. Tending to the world tree all on your own, it's no small task. Of course, he's got a point, my dear Mimir. But singing your own praises, it's awfully gauche, isn't it? Who the hell else is gonna sing them? <sighs> and your question was? Oh, I've utterly forgotten. Splendid. Until next time, then. Well, I'll leave you to it. Alcohol. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. That chime on a response to the acts. Yeah, and people whose balls have dropped. Sorry. No more lead worm. What, did you forget they're out eating the realm? Ah, our illustrious summoners have returned. I'm so pleased the tides of fate have placed our runic summon in your capable hands. Well, any questions before you travel on? We have not yet found all of your creatures. We will continue to look. Incomplete. Pity. Oh, shush. That is a very considerate update, and your perspicacity is appreciated. Perseverance. Will you please stop being such a perfectionist? No. Which aspect is he, then? Oh, um, my perfectionism. I really shouldn't let him get to me. He's just so disconcertingly economical with his prose, you know? So laconic. One might even say terse. Fewer words, greater impact. I like this one. <sighs> I thought you might. Well, you've met them all now. I'm so very sorry. Please don't judge me too harshly, Master Kratos. Leaving. No more lead work. What, did you forget the uh, no. the realm? Did you rescue those stags yet? Whole tree will die if you don't. So, yeah, take your fucking time. Well, any questions before you travel on? Something I've been meaning to ask. Once you've projected an emotional trait into spectral form, is it just gone from you? Suppose a friend wished to cast off his melancholy, or a predilection towards pining. I see. But I'm afraid it's not so simple. My spectral projections give me a measure of emotional breathing room, but it is only temporary. If I fail to reassimilate them, they start to... fester. Fester? They are concentrated beings of emotion. And if left alone for too long, that emotion feeds on itself and becomes more and more, uh, pronounced. Which is why I must periodically reabsorb them, deal with their emotional baggage internally, and then eject them fully recharged. Huh. Absorbing all that emotion at once must be pretty bitter medicine to swallow. Oh, yes, it's quite unpleasant. Terrible, in fact. Do not recommend. <laughs> well, best of luck to your friend, good Master Amir. Boss man wants the rest of those leaned worms, buddy. Master Kratos, young Master Atreus, I'm so relieved to see you safe. My infinite condolences to you all. I do not know what to say. I am devastated to hear about what happened to Master Brock. To think that something like that could happen in my home of all places. I am sickened and deeply sorry. Is Master Sindri all right? No. But he is safe. He has returned to Midgard. I see. I can only imagine the grief he must be feeling. Please, take care, you two. I will bet you, you couldn't hit this child with that axe if you tried. Go on. No! Have you had a chance to look for the missing stags, my friend? Hello, Radatasker. Hello, Master Kratos. What you've accomplished for these realms is truly something I never thought possible. Uh, rest assured, good Master Brock would be proud beyond measure, even if only to express it in his love language of profane non-sequiturs. Ah, but he is terribly missed. Yes, he is. Now, there is one rather interesting development to apprise you of. The detonation of Asgard shook the world tree to its very roots dislodging a great number of realm seeds. I thought you might wish to have them. My little way of saying, thank you for preventing my death by immolation. You are welcome. Come 
on. Hit the chime and drop off your lean worms. Why must you make me repeat myself? The stags of seasons are still missing. If you would return them, I would be most grateful. <sighs> what else is there? I appreciate you checking in, Master Kratos, but I'm not sure I'll be any great company. I find myself in the grips of a nearly existential ennui. Recent events would seem to conspire to suggest that, insofar as my bailiwick is the protection of the world tree, I am, not to put too fine a point on it, bad at my job. And don't hasten to contradict me. The facts are plain. Lean worms, stags, Garm, Odin. I've never felt so ineffectual. It is enough to make one rethink one's entire purpose. For if I am not he who tends the world tree, then what am I? You are Rudatasker. I... oh. Hm. Thank you, Master Kratos. Here. I suppose I needn't take up more of your time. <laughs> this one will be trouble, I can tell. I look forward to the challenge. I will bet you, you couldn't hit this child with that axe if you tried. Done. Have you had a chance to look for the missing stags, my friend? Hello, Radatasker. Hello, Master Kratos. What you've accomplished for these realms is truly something I never thought possible. Uh, rest assured, good Master Brock would be proud beyond measure, even if only to express it in his love language of profane non-sequiturs. Ah, but he is terribly missed. Yes, he is. Now, there is one rather interesting development to apprise you of. The detonation of Asgard shook the world tree to its very roots, dislodging a great number of realm seeds. I thought you might wish to have them. My little way of saying, thank you for preventing my death by immolation. You are welcome. Come on, hit the time and drop off your lean worms. Why must you make me repeat myself? The stags of seasons are still missing. If you would return them, I would be most grateful. Ah. <sighs> What else is there? I appreciate you checking in, Master Kratos, but I'm not sure I'll be any great company. I find myself in the grips of a nearly existential ennui. Recent events would seem to conspire to suggest that, insofar as my bailiwick is the protection of the world tree, I am, not to put too fine a point on it, bad at my job. And don't hasten to contradict me. The facts are plain. Lean worms, stags, Garm, Odin. I've never felt so ineffectual. It is enough to make one rethink one's entire purpose. For if I am not he who tends the world tree, then what am I? You are Rudatasker. I... oh. Hm. Thank you, Master Kratos. Here. I suppose I needn't take up more of your time. <laughs> this one will be trouble, I can tell. I look forward to the challenge. Need work! Time! Ding-ding, you know the drill. Damned arrogance. I shall never forgive him for losing the stags of seasons. Oh, how I hope you might find and return them. Well, good luck out there. I'm away with you already. For your care. Ah, this one is hungry. All oh, that realm nibbling wasn't enough for you, eh? Oi! If you got lean worms in your trap, go summon the boss and drop them off. Or do you like carrying them around? Ugh, creepy. Have you had a chance to look for the missing stags, my friend? Until our next Come encounter, out. then. I think this one looks like me. There's an uncanny resemblance. Come on, hit the time and drop off your lean worms. Why must you make me repeat myself? <laughs> the stags of seasons are still missing. If you would return them, I would be most grateful. The last I suppose I needn't take up more of your time. Radatoski Jr.
I like the sound of that. All of the little ones are now safely settled in their new home. You have my gratitude. Thorough job, my respect. Is that the dragon's offspring? Why? Ah, to alleviate my heart-rending loneliness, of course. Oh, that was awfully forthcoming of you. I normally wouldn't be so candid, but it appears that Anxious Squirrel has learned a thing or two from you about, what was it, not caring about how others perceive you? So I will permit you this one glimpse of my weakness. To require others is not a weakness. My goodness, I had not expected such emotional intelligence from one of your... girth. I do not care. Oh, well, this was a delightful conversation. Well then, what else, friends? The little ones are growing up so fast, it brings a tear to my eye. How are they coming along? I think they're almost starting to recognize me as their father and not their appetizer. I believe one or two of them may even know how to say my name. Or rather, scream it. More of a <laughs> But it's not far off. Must be tough being a parent. It has its ups and downs, but after a few ages pass, I'm certain they'll start to take a liking to me. There's no rush. Baby dragon steps. Master Kratos knows what I'm speaking of. No. He knows what I'm speaking of. Journey forth in health and safety, my friends. Ah, awesome. Ah! Damned arrogance. I shall never forgive him for losing the stags of seasons. Oh, how I hope you might find and return them. Don't talk to me, I'm in the zone. The stags are returned and all is right in the realms. Mostly. Your stags are returned. Better late than never. Incredible! The nine realms are no longer in horticultural danger. I cannot thank you enough. But perhaps this will suffice. Arrogant believes he has evaded punishment just because you fixed his blunder. He is sorely mistaken, of course. He will be in a remarkable amount of trouble. Once I figure out how to punish someone whose narcissism renders him invulnerable to all forms of emotional warfare. Well then, what else, friends? Go on. I understand if what I'm about to say may come across as facetious or self-serving, but I wanted you to know that I truly, from the bottom of my heart, Appreciate everything you have done for both myself and my tree. Thank you. You are welcome. What is most difficult to accept about myself are my limitations. Show some pride! Whether they be my physical limitations, my size, my confinement to this tree, or my emotional limitations, of which you have had to deal with far too many times. Too many words. They plague me. And as a result, I envied someone like you, Master Kratos. No, oh, I feel but so But now stupid. I realize that even someone as seemingly all-powerful as you does not lack limitations, but instead, like the rest of us, has to work hard to surpass them. Oh, enough already! You're gonna bore it to death! Forgive my rambling. In short, you have taught me a lot, Master Kratos, and I thank you. You are welcome in my tree any time as an honored guest. Very well, then. Stay safe, everyone.